Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about how to remove the core block patterns and in this video we're going to learn about the block pattern categories, how to add a new category and how to assign your custom block patterns to those categories. So let's begin. If you take a look we have an option to register the block pattern category and this is the function for that. So what I'm going to do is inside of our class block patterns which we created in the previous videos I'm going to go ahead and create another add action and then I'm going to do register block pattern category so remember that this is my custom function this is not WordPress function public function register block pattern categories okay so remember this is my custom function not WordPress function so we're just calling it register block pattern categories and now all I have to do is just call this function over here and in fact the best way I would say to you would be that we create an array about what are the different categories we want to create so pattern I'm going to name it this is my custom variable pattern names or pattern categories equals I'm gonna create an array inside of this array first I can put it probably the name of the category right so this can be the name and then the next one can be the label so so label can be so for our case we can call it like cover and then the label can be cover right and then we can have more categories if we want maybe carousal I mean we can delete it if you want I'm just letting you know that we can have like that carousal okay so we can have carousal and that's it let's just go with two categories and then we're gonna check if not empty pattern categories and is array well, there's no need to check it but I because we anyways defining it on top, top but still as a best practice I do use it to check before running a for each loop so then we're going to run a for each loop for each pattern categories as category category pattern category this will be the key and pattern category label oops and I think it'll be better to use the translation function here so I'm just going to use translation function and that's this will be text domain which will be Aquila okay and then for this one oops and this will be Aquila okay and then for each I'm just going to run it so how do we do, how do we do this so you will call this function we register block pattern category for each one of them and then you're going to use the pattern category which will be equivalent to this and the first time and the second time this will be equivalent to this okay and then this will be the label so this will be an array again I'm going to use the square brackets instead and then in the label I'm just going to put the label value awesome what I'll also do is that inside of this I also have an option to pass the category so if you notice over here we have got categories so so one pattern can be uh, you know can belong to multiple categories so in our case so I'm gonna pass categories over here in register block patterns and I'm just going to put the name of the category so in our case this is cover so I'm just gonna put that so there we go cover comma that's it perfect that's all we have to do to register the category so there are two categories that have been registered so let's come back let's refresh and earlier if you remember it was showing an uncategorized and now if I check it voila you've got cover okay of course uh, this category doesn't show yet because there are no patterns available in that particular one but you can see that we've got cover that's the name of the category right 
that's a label and the name of our pattern is Aquila cover and that's what we have here this is awesome this is perfect and what I generally do is that I know I also add a class to it like towards the end in case if I want to style it differently I can do that using my theme styles so I'll probably add like Aquila I don't know if you can see it but I can add a class over here like Aquila cover awesome that's it brilliant and again of course you have to copy it uh, you know the code it every time you make a change you have to copy it and paste it here okay now so that's pretty much it about registering the categories and assigning your you know block patterns to that particular category and you can now see that if I add carousel over here this is just for testing we're not actually going to use it but just for testing you go back and refresh you'll notice that now the same uh, pattern is available in cover as well as in carousel because we explicitly said that this should be part of both the categories so we can remove one because we don't need it but just to let you know that one pattern can be part of multiple categories so this has been done uh, regarding categories now in the next video we're going to talk about how we can you know make this code a little clean because this is like too much of untidy stuff of course you can put them all in one line but to be honest I personally don't like it I want my code to be clean okay so in the next video we're going to learn about how we can make this I do this work more in a more cleaner way uh, maybe break them down into smaller templates and we'll also talk about some of the issues we can face if when we are actually building block patterns all right so until then thank you very much and I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, please do star my repository if you like my work and follow me on github and if you like my work you can also nominate me on stars.github.com slash nominate uh, for the star award okay awesome so so I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye